Um, I'm going to show you, so I literally have the worst Photoshop skills on the planet. And so my diagram looks super janky. It's horrible. Uh, but you know, whatever, does the job. Okay, so this is how I shoot, shoot a wedding. Um, hopefully you guys can see it well. My A camera is going to be a close-up two shot on the bride and groom, which you saw in that film earlier. I use that a lot. Because it really gives both, you can see both their emotions. You can see the efficient too when he's talking. It's a great shot. It's beautiful. Um, the B camera is going to be like a wide safety shot, which you can, you know, you can roll on and cut back to if you're moving, framing on any of the other shots or anything like that, especially for their dock edit. That's really important. And also just to show off the space. Sometimes you're in this beautiful church or something, you want to show the space off. And in some cases, like in churches, like I'll put that on the balcony just to show this huge, like enormous shot of the church. It's really cool. Um, so that wide safety shot can go right next to the A camera on a tripod, or it can go somewhere else. Like sometimes it's off to the side. In a, in a minute, I'm going to show an example of a ceremony, and you'll see it's kind of off to the side a little bit more and a little higher um, than like what the A camera would be. But you can kind of play with that. That's your wide safety shot. Always remember your 180 degree, um, 180 line rule too when you're shooting ceremonies as much as possible, which basically means you want all your cameras to be on the same line, like the same plane. Um, so if you're like shooting back towards your cameras, if you're editing to those shots, it's going to look a little weird. Now I know there's situations where like, that's the only thing you can get. There's crazy venues that have weird rules. Trust me. I have one in Nashville. that's like that. Um, so, you know, you got to take that with a grain of salt and think on your feet on that stuff too. Uh, the C camera, actually, that's the one I just recently added, um, as a third tripod shot is a medium shot on the bride and the officiant just gives you another angle, especially if the couple is like facing the officiant as he's like charging them. You can't see his face from a camera, but if you have one on the side, you can see his face and you can kind of see like the, the side of the groom's face too, or the side of the bride's face, you know? Um, and then of course, when they're saying their vows to each other, it's a great shot of the bride, um, which is awesome. Always focus on the bride because you got to make her look great. Um, and then the roaming camera on the gimbal, that's for creative shots and also during the processional, um, you'll see here in a minute, I use that to get to catch the people as they're walking in. And if I have like a really long, like if I know the bride's coming like down this path, you know, um, before she even gets to the aisle, I will usually stay back where my two planted cameras are towards the back of all the guests. And I'll shoot from there because I'm like, I have enough time to be able to get her emotion. And then sometimes, and it, as you saw, I like pan up. So it kind of looks like a, a cool, uh, cool epic shot when she's walking down the aisle. Um, but sometimes it's a really short space. It's like really small. So I'll, I'll go down with the gimbal and I kind of be on the left hand corner so I can shoot down the aisle with the bride and then I can even turn and get a cool reaction shot with the groom on the gimbal as well. And I can get that really quickly and I can just duck out. Um, and a lot of times for that kind of stuff, like if I know that the ceremony is going to be like that, I will have an assistant because they'll need to be back there. It's easier to not have an assistant if you're at the back with your gimbal than at the front because you can kind of monitor those cameras. So anyway, I'm going to show you, um, I should have labeled these, but I'll kind of go through it. This is actually all four camera angles at the same time. So the bottom left is A camera. The, the top uh, left is B camera. C camera is the top right, and then the gimbal camera, the D camera is the, the bottom right. Um, so I'm just gonna let this play out. This is actually when the bride's about to walk down. And here's the thing, you know, people get like trip, trip out when like their cameras get covered by guests. Just make sure you have a clean shot of something. Um, in fact, in some of my edits, I actually use the guests standing up in the, did the lights just dim a little bit? Or is that just me? Oh, that was weird, anyway. Um, I'm hallucinating. It's crazy. So yeah, so the bride's walking down, um, and it's a great shot. And then the people are about to stand up, and this is actually a really cool shot you can use in your edit. It kind of has a lot of impact, you know? And I love it. And I even love, like, everybody kind of filming it as they're coming down, which, by the way, this was an unplugged wedding, which is not even a true thing. Um, you know, it never is. But yeah, it, we can see the people recording, and you can still see the groom kind of through the, through the space there. So that's kind of how I shoot it. And you've got lots of good, good shots to use. Um, and then that particular, oh, and this is later on in the ceremony. So my gimbal is put away and I'm adjusting this like a crazy person. And, 
and getting that, that framed up. But see that, that other shot over here on the right, the top right, is a really nice shot of the officiant. Of course, you got people with their cell phones, but whatever. They put them down eventually when we get to the important stuff, which is good. Um, so yeah, there you go. And you're good to go. And for your dock edit, if you have three angles, that's great. They're going to love that, you know? Cutting between the Y, the cl And honestly, I stay on this A camera for a dock edit more than anything. Because it's like, you know, you get to see them talking to each other. Now, if there's like, oh, another thing is, if there's like a special event happening, this goes back to the, to the uh, questionnaire. Because you, you need to know, oh, are they going to do like special music or like a sand ceremony or, you know, a candle or something like that. So in this case, they had a friend who was going to do like a song, like a worship song, right? So I knew that. And before, ahead of time, I knew that. So I had my gimbal ready. So when he started, I went over and shot some shots of him on the gimbal. And I used that in their creative edit. And it, was, it turned out really good.